Tonight's rain mixed with seasonally high tides could mean a wet mess in coastal areas. Miami Beach is seeing some flooding along Alton Road, but it's a different story on Fort Lauderdale Beach. CBS4's Lauren Pastrana is there with more. For now, the roads are still dry, and with Erica out of the picture, they might stay that way. But with rain in the forecast and higher tides expected, this stretch of Fort Lauderdale Beach may see some flooding after all. On Fort Lauderdale Beach, oceanfront businesses know the risk of flooding exists, not just from any remnants of Erica, but from higher than usual tides. I expect to come here on Monday and this entire place is going to be flooded. That's my expectations. It wouldn't be the first time this stretch of A1A at Sunrise Boulevard has been underwater. Three years ago, the high tides and rain caused water to creep right into shops and restaurants. City officials warned residents of the potential for a similar situation in the coming days and urged caution. It becomes impossible to tell the difference between a canal and a roadway when the water is flooded across the road. Fort Lauderdale out, Assistant so. Public Works Director Dr. Nancy Gassman says tides could be six inches above normal. She adds the city has been proactive in flood prevention, installing 50 tidal valves along the coast, which keeps the water from rising. But because of this flexible valve, it prevents the salt water from coming up through the valve. Meanwhile, on Miami Beach, a line of storms caused some minor flooding Saturday night. The city has been working on a long-term drainage project and just this week scrambled to get extra pumps online in case Erica came this way. Back in Fort Lauderdale, businesses have plans in place in case the water gets too close for comfort. Raise our uh, merchandise a little higher, you know, and uh, we try to take a precaution. Sometimes we, uh, if I have a help, I would just fill up the sandbags and keep it by the door, stack them up. Now, if it does flood, be sure to avoid walking or driving through those flooded areas. And boaters especially should take note of those higher tides because they could cause lower clearances under fixed bridges. In Fort Lauderdale, Lauren Pastrana, CBS 4 News tonight. Good advice, Lauren. Thank you.